interesting. Damn it. Yeah, that's kind of disgusting. You're despicable. Okay, you, you buried a little girl pretending that that was your child. Shedding uh, crocodile tears. Blaming everybody for her death, even Eric. You put that man through hell. Only because he was so nauseatingly lovesick. So relieved I was back. That he actually expected me to get in the sack with him again. I knew how to be cruel. How the hell else was I supposed to get him to leave me alone? Okay, so this whole entire time it's been a scheme to get back with Brady? Wow. You really are connecting the dots. <gasps> wow. And Brady, of course, I mean, he believes that you're Nicole. Poor bastard. You know, ever since you got to this town, you've pursued him. Like crazy. Like he's the only person that hasn't betrayed you. And of course, Brady fell for that. Bless his sweetheart. And now we are even closer than ever. No, Kristen. Nicole and Brady are closer than ever. Okay, he hates you with a vengeance, okay? And he's going to hate you even more once he finds out that you're making a fool of him. Okay, I am not making a fool of him. I made him realize that he and I belong to each other. I made him feel the love that he's always had for me. And now that is stronger than ever. Love. Passion. Passion? That's going to turn into disgust once he finds out what you've been doing. I think he's going to want to just wring your scrawny neck. Mm, you're so wrong. No, you see, I know Brady like no one else does. And he's going to be grateful that I figured out a way to make him feel alive again. A way to bring us closer together like we were always meant to be. You are one crazy bitch. I am an ambitious, exceptionally clever woman who's accomplished almost everything she set out to do. Almost everything? It'll be just plain everything when she gets rid of the pesky little obstacle that's standing in her way. Okay, well, what's the one pesky little obstacle? I'm looking right at her. So, how is Eric? I know it's been hard on him having Nicole back. It was hard. It was hard for him to let her go, but he knows that there's no future for them. He, he's, he told me so himself, and Nicole's just not the woman that he fell in love with. I really think that this is going to work out, Mom. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you. So the only reason that Nicole married Tony was to get control of Tamara. Yeah. It was strictly a business decision, all right? She couldn't become CEO without the Demera name. Since when does Nicole care about Demera? Why the hell would you go along with this? As well as, like, support her in a decision to marry a man she doesn't love. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, you know what? I think I got it. You're the only man that Nicole didn't blame for Holly's death. So you're thinking that maybe if you... What, if you help Nicole get what she wants? And when all this is over, that she's going to come back to you. You really think that the two of you are finally going to be together? Actually, we already are. Give it a little more pressure on that than it. Right. Well, it feels like it's about to give. Yeah. This whole lock picking kit, it's not a family heirloom, is it? Uh, if you're asking if I got it from my mom, the answer is no. It's uh, it's Paul's. He, he left it when he moved to California. Oh, you didn't send it back to him? I've been meaning to. Well, for once, your procrastination pays off. We are in. Yes. Okay, let's see what's behind for number three. Oh my gosh. Look at those. Wow. I don't even want to think about where he got those. Okay, okay, what else? What else? Um, oh, it just looks like some ancient trinkets, which are probably cursed. And um, a picture of Sarah. Super creepy. Yeah, creepier than the cursed trinkets. Okay. 
Wait, what is this? Is that a bank book? Yeah, with an account number to what appears to be an offshore bank. That's great work. See if there's any transfers to Xander's account from Stephen Demira. Now see if that backs up the story. Or see if he was working with anyone else. I mean, the, the problem is that I, I don't know how to access this account. Leave that to me. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way. I had no idea you had such ill will toward the Demera family. <laughs> well, that's one of the perks of working in Hong Kong, isn't it? It's easier to deal with a family when you're 8,000 miles away. I can't claim to know all the ways that you've been slighted. But I can promise you this. If you were to come back into the family fold, I would do everything in my power to make it up to you. Well, that's very flattering. But why the change of heart? You already offered the job to Stefan's wife. I'm starting to think that may have been a mistake. <laughs> I have my doubts about her loyalty to the company. Well, that's an easy fix. Just give it to the other, Mrs. Demira. I have reservations about Nicole as well. <laughs> they are both loose cannons. Well, what you could do is have them running it together as co-CEOs the way Sammy and I did. I don't think that would work in this case. Those two are already at each other's throats. And that's exactly why I'm considering making this change. Kate, how can I make you consider helping me to get rid of those two Mrs. Demeras? So I'm the last thing in your way, huh? Well, you 